Hey guys, coming at you with a um, color space management tutorial, I guess. Working with log footage in After Effects. And uh, there, I made a tutorial of the old way to do it and then realized there is actually a new way to do it. So here we go. Uh, first thing we're going to do, coming in After Effects, we're going to go to our project settings and then color. And you can, this is basically as far as I know, this is only for After Effects 2024. So we're going to change the color engine to OCIO Color Managed. Hit OK, and that's going to put us into a ACES workflow. Um, but we can ignore that by coming down here to the working color space, and we will do data utility raw. So it will just pump the footage straight in without doing anything to it. Uh, and then we'll just ignore the display space right now. So uh, then we've got our footage, and we will interpret the footage going to color and then we're going to hit preserve RGB. So this setting right here and then the setting that we just did basically tells After Effects don't do anything I'm going to do it myself. So we'll hit OK. We will create a new comp with that and uh, from here we've got our display color space doing things again so we'll just set that to none and uh, here's where the magic happens. So we've, we've told After Effects we're going to do everything ourselves and here's how that works. We're going to do a new adjustment layer and then we'll come over here to the uh, effects and presets and we can search for OCIO and we want the color space transform and we're going to put that on our adjustment layer. You can also find that, uh, let's see, in the effects uh, color correction there they are. So color space transform. Boom. For the input space, we're going to go find our camera uh, profile. And the scroll wheel doesn't really work with this menu, so I just go down to the bottom and hit the down arrow until we get Sony. Uh, this is the uh, S-Log3 S-Gamut3 Cine. Boom. And then our output color space. This is what we want to see. We're going to change that to... Uh, I think it's in this menu here, down to the bottom, here we go, output Rec 709, boom. So now we have our like normalized Rec 709 footage and that's being controlled with this uh, color space transform. So once we have that, what we can do is uh, duplicate our footage and this is for a workflow if you're going back to log so if you want to start with log and then also end with log you want to duplicate that footage we will take these other two and pre-comp them we'll just name this key boom so turn this off now we have two sets of footage we have our uh, rec 709 version and then we also have just the regular log version so we'll take that Rec. 709 and we can key it with key light. Give that a click. And uh, we'll turn this off so we can see what's going on here. And we'll do intermediate result because a lot of that blue sky is reflecting uh, screen mat. Do that a little bit there. We can kind of zoom in. This isn't really a keying tutorial, but just for the sake of uh, accuracy here. I want to shrink it down just a little bit. Cool, good enough, beautiful. And then of course we will do a little uh, garbage mat here as well. Do, 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 real quick and nasty, we'll get rid of our crew. Boom, gone, perfect. All right, so now we have our uh, footage on an alpha channel and that is in Rec. 709. So uh, you can stop here if you want or we can continue if we want to go back to log. If we want to send this footage somewhere else with as much information as possible. When we converted to Rec. 709 we got rid of some of that extra information uh, in the Luma and the Chroma channels that we may need later if we're doing any kind of compositing or that sort. So to go back to log we're going to Go back to our, you know, we've got our regular log footage here that we haven't done anything to. And we can set a track mat to the key layer and make sure that our alpha channel is selected. 
because when we did the key we created an alpha channel and now we will utilize that and just apply it to the log footage so now we have uh, we have our log footage with an alpha background boom so there's log you get your rec 709 and you get your log so if you're ready to ship it out to uh, another software or another uh, compositor who's you know working from their office somewhere or whatever we can now go to the uh, add to render queue and let's look at our settings here we want to do a quick time I'm using DNX HD HR uh, it's basically the same thing as Apple ProRes it's gonna do the same stuff we just want to make sure that we got 444 and 12 bit it's gonna give us the most uh, color information possible okay we want to change this to RGB plus alpha and that's how we get that alpha channel otherwise it's just gonna export on a black background and trillions of colors plus this is a this depth is important because even if we select the right setting here uh, you want to make sure that you've got all that color depth so trillions of colors plus and then the last step we want to do is in this color tab we want to check preserve RGB again telling After Effects again don't do anything we have done it all within our color space transform give it a name uh, mash the render button and you are good to go